Thank you for joining us here in Jerusalem. There's no doubt that we're in very hard times. And in our times, our eyes are upon the Lord. In times like that, we're seeking comfort, but we're also seeking direction. And this is where we find our direction, especially in times like that. Welcome back to the studio here in Jerusalem. And we have the great honor of having with us Dr. Erez Zoref. Dr. Erez Zoref is the president of One for Israel Bible College here in Israel. I'm sure you saw One for Israel on YouTube and so on, if you are interested in what's going on in Israel. Erez, you're a friend, you're a leader here in the body of Messiah in Israel. We're in the midst of a terrible crisis, we're in the midst of terrible price that the people of Israel have to pay. Wherever you go, people are mourning. Mm -hmm. You open the television at night and people are interviewing another family and another family. You cannot not cry when you see this suffering. But yet, we know that the Bible tells us that one of the roles of the Messiah is to comfort. Yeah, man, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think for us uh, at this time in Israel, as Jesus said, we cry with those who cry. And um, I've been thinking a lot this, this past few weeks about God's comfort, as, as you said, and, and the Messiah is called the Comforter. One passage that was particularly on my mind and heart, actually, we're in a great setting because it talks about the mountain right there. And it's from Isaiah chapter 2. And I'd like to read a couple of verses, if I may. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be lifted up above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it. And many peoples shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and shall decide disputes for many peoples, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. What a promise. It's, it's an amazing promise, and I think it, it kind of encapsulates, it, first of all, it gives us hope. And the context of, of this prophecy was when the Assyrians, very, very, very cruel people, were threatening Jerusalem. They were standing around Jerusalem, and that's the message God has given Isaiah at that time, but obviously the fulfillment is still to come. Even in our day, it's still to come. Uh, that's gonna happen when, you know, the geography of Temple Mount behind us is gonna change. When the Messiah comes back, it's gonna be the highest mountain on the earth, and He Himself, the Comforter Himself, shall sit there, and order will be restored. He will receive the honor that He's due. And, and the, all the nations, not just the nation of Israel, He's called the God of Jacob, his name is upon our nation, but all the nations shall flow unto him. And it's interesting, the word flow, Nahahu, is like a river. I mean, they, they're gonna come like a river. All of them will come to him, but not only to pay homage, not only to, to bow down or worship, but also to learn of his ways, to learn who he is, to get to know him better. I find that particularly interesting because Jesus is talking in Matthew 24 about the fact that he will come and he will judge the nations. His judgment upon the nations shall be on how they treated the nation of Israel. I think it's particularly pertinent when we see now anti-Semitism in so many places around the world, leading cities, you know, have demonstrations of death to the Jews. That's gonna change when they come to the God of Jacob. So according to you, our comfort is in the promises of God. Absolutely. So when we need to comfort our people or anybody, we should hold to the promises that we have in this book? Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. I, I will say this though, I think there's a time to say those things. Right now, as you aptly put, there's so much mourning. I think this is a time where we cry with those who cry. Beautiful. But usually when you finish the crying, you're looking up and you say, well, what now? And that's the time yeah. for comfort. That's the time for hope. And so this time is coming, you know, when the ancient blessing to Abram, 
the reason for choosing the nation of Israel, so that in your seed, God told Abraham, all the families of the earth, all the nations of the earth, be blessed with his knowledge. So according to you, you're calling the church to, at this time, when the people of Israel is crying, when we're losing people every day, is to, to cry with the people of Israel. Absolutely. To cry upon There's the Lord. There's a lot of mourning now, yes. Yes, and to pray for comfort, to pray that, um, you know, all those terrible sacrifices will not be in vain. And there's a lot of suffering all over. You know, we suffer as the people of Israel, but it's also true for um, a lot of people in the Gaza Strip that are being used as human shields that are not able to escape for their lives. And so God is crying with all those that are crying. Amen. You know, I believe that comforting is a gift from God. Mm. It's one of the gifts that Messiah brings with him. The same way he's bringing joy, he's bringing comfort. So a real comforting, a real nechama, is something that we receive in the Messiah. Amen. And I believe that, you know, in Isaiah, you, you mentioned Isaiah, and I believe that Isaiah 40, when he's calling to comfort, comfort my people, Amen. it's very interesting. He said, tell her that her sin is, was forgiven. Which means, as I tell the people of Israel that their comfort is in the one, amen. in the Messiah. Amen, amen. And I, again, I, when we talk about that, what, what I have to think is, because of the context we're sitting, that on that mountain, the other mountain in front of us, the Mount of Olives, that's on the, on the brink of annihilation of the nation of Israel. After a very, 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 very difficult time, the Messiah himself, is coming down. The Comforter himself is coming for his nation. And so we look up to him for his comfort. Dr. Erez Soref, what a great joy having you with us. And to you, to you, our friends, if you're going through a hard time, if you're going through a time of mourning, God wants to comfort you, lift you up, replace those ashes with glory. Be encouraged. There is hope. Hold to the promises of God. And please keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem and now mourn with the people of Israel and hold to the promises that God gave to the people of Israel. Erez, thank you very much. Thank you. And to you, our friends, a warm shalom from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm.